Hello Libra, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's coming your way in love. As always, these are meant to be general love readings, so they will not resonate with every Libra watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Make sure you check out your other placements, uh, your moon, your rising sign, any other sign of significance. Sometimes those messages can resonate more. I have all the playlists for each sign linked in the description box if you wanna check them out. So let's jump right in for your reading. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Libra regarding love. It's coming their way in love. Okay, we have three mirrored souls, soulmate, mutual feelings, fate. You mirror each other in this special connection, sweet dreams, and tied up. Your dreams are becoming reality, and you're feeling trapped in a situation. Hmm. So I feel like there's some something very special here with sweet dreams and mirrored souls, possibly a soulmate, someone that you've been um, dreaming about finally being here, but there's some sort of tied up scenario, someone feeling a bit stuck or trapped. This could be you or your other person, you know, the other person, I guess I should say. What else for Libra? What else can they expect in love? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Forgiving and learning. It came out reverse, even though I don't really have reversals here. Um, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So there could be a situation that needs to be released here. That's probably why tied up has shown up. This could also be forgiving someone, learning from your um, mistakes, learning from a difficult situation, or vice versa. These energies could be flipped, so feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you, Libra. Okay, what else? What else for Libra? What can they expect in love? Wow, man holding a coin and a cornucopia. So there could be somebody you're dealing with, a masculine energy who's making you some sort of an offer or a situation that's just, it, it just is really good. Cornucopia is almost like the nine of cups, a wish being granted, abundance, fulfillment. So there's definitely something special here, a special connection that might already exist or is coming in for you, Libra. Um, I just feel like there might be just a bit of a stuck energy, something that's keeping this from officially moving forward or slowing things down. Can we get some insight, please? What is coming Libra's way in love? What is coming Libra's way in love spirit? What is coming their way? in love for Libra. What is coming Libra's way in love? Okay, let's see what we get for you here. Nine of Cups reverse, strength reverse, Leo energy. Ooh, the world reverse, okay. Four of Swords reverse. Wow, all the reversals, the double reverse and the King, Queen of Swords. Capricorn energy with the double reverse. Queen of Swords is here though. Okay, I'm gonna do, an, I normally don't do this, but I feel like I wanna do do this. Okay, Three of Wands, okay. I wanna put down another set. If I could just get it together, of course. Can you get another set, please? Another set of energies. I normally don't do this, but I just feel like doing this for some reason. Mm. This is making a lot of sense. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to just break this down as I see it. So I have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Nine of Cups reverse. The Nine of Cups reverse is telling me that someone's not getting what they want or desire at this time. Um, there could be some sort of delay or um, some sort of compromise that someone needs to make, even though this is exactly what they want. Strength reverse is typically a card about not having strength or being worn out or someone that is not feeling very bold or courageous or strong right now. 
Um, but I also am getting the sense with strength reverse that someone might be wanting to get a hold of the situation, but just doesn't know how or hasn't been able to. Um, I'm sensing a lot of frustration with strength reverse, but it looks like someone's working on it. It's like someone's trying to figure this out anyway. This could be you or your person. We're going to clarify. Um, Page of Pentacles reverse and the world reverse. Someone could be um, having some sort of... Um, I'm so sorry if you hear that in the background. They're doing like landscaping. And of course, it's been like hours <laughs> since like 10 this morning. And it's almost like 3 o'clock now. So yeah, it's just constant. Anyways, so the world reverse is typically a card about... Um, needing to close a cycle, not able to close a cycle, delays in ending a cycle or starting a new one, lack of closure. So the Page of Pentacles reverse is telling me this could be related to money. Someone might not be able to close a cycle because of finances or something like that. We'll see. Um, then I have the Four of Swords reverse with the Ace of Wands. So once again, someone's taking action. There's action happening here. Um, maybe someone wasn't able to take action before with the Four of Swords reverse. Maybe they were just doing a lot of thinking, reflecting. Um, some of you, there could be a marriage involved here with the Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Devil reverse. But I'm getting here that there is um, possibly a situation where someone doesn't have all of the resources that they would like. Not all of the finances are stable or there's not a lot of security right now. Maybe they're feeling a bit... Um, you know ungrounded or the opposite of being grounded because i can't think right now because of all this noise in the background but i feel like someone's getting out of this once again i get the sense of someone overcoming this and it's because they're putting in the work or the effort here um there's just going to be a little bit of delays right and we're going to see what the hell this is all about because i still feel like i'm missing something important queen of swords and then the eight of wands reverse so i feel like this could be you libra um, I feel like you are not playing games right now. You're very, being very serious, analytical, smart about the fact that something's not moving forward or something is stuck with the Eight of Wands being reversed here. So reversals are not bad. Reversals are just a different message. So we will see what all of this is about. Because I feel like I'm talking to a Libra that is experiencing more positive things and are being asked to keep an open mind with whatever's coming their way. So let's get some insight here. Tell me about the Queen of Wands and this Nine of Cups reverse. Yeah, Eight of Swords and the, the Hierophant. So some of you, there's a marriage here or some sort of commitment that someone's stuck in or someone's being um is afraid of commitment afraid of committing um and i feel like this is it's, it's almost like this is what someone wants but they can't have so you could be wanting someone that's married or vice versa but you can't have them or you could be wanting commitment and or vice versa and that's not happening um taurus energy here with the higher fonts i feel like someone also with the higher fonts want things to happen a certain way and they just haven't Tell me about the strength card reverse and the eight of pentacles. Death, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the strength card reverse and the eight of pentacles. So there could be some sort of ending here, change that's taking place. And yeah, queen of wands again. So I feel like someone's taking action here due to an ending or taking action regarding an ending. So some something here is ending for someone and it's allowing them to move forward. It's allowing them to go after what they truly want or be very passionate and bold about what they want to have now, etc., etc. Queen of Wands, what she wants, she gets. Tell me about the world reverse and the Page of Pentacles reverse. What's going on here? Six of Cups. Tell me about the world reverse. And the Page of Pentacles reverse. Two of Wands. So I'm getting this. Yeah, I was going to say I'm getting the sense of someone like not deciding yet. And it's because they're waiting for something. There's a delay here. That's why the world's reverse and the Page of Pentacles is reverse. Someone could be waiting for a message back. Or they're waiting for confirmation. Waiting for... Um, a green light waiting for the right time waiting for something and i feel yeah it's to walk away eight of cups someone's waiting for the right time to walk away 
or waiting for the right time to make a journey of some sort. Um, and that's why the world reversed. This has not been able to take off yet. Whether it's someone wanting to close the cycle or start a new one, it just hasn't been able to take off yet. Tell me about the two of wands. Why the wait? Why the decision? What can you tell us about this two of wands? What can you tell us about this two of wands, spirit? Yeah, this is about home or some sort of like family situation, something to do with like where they live, assets. Some of you are dealing with someone that's married or you are married. Okay, so what's this Ace of Wands about? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Wow, Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely something coming. There's definitely something happening, Libra. It's just there's other things taking place as well. And so it's not going to be fun and games the whole way, you know? The Chariot, Cancer Energy. You're moving forward here. Something new headed in a new direction in love. This is a new direction in love. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Taurus. Does not have to be, but those are the signs I've shown up so far in the clarifiers. Tell me about the Devil Reverse and the Queen of Pentacles Reverse. King of Cups. Tell me about the Devil Reverse and the Queen of Pentacles Reverse. I feel like someone's in love, but they haven't been able to get what they want. Tell me about the Devil Reverse and the Queen of Pentacles Reverse. Yeah, the world. Someone has not been able to get what they want. And I feel like that could be you. Yeah, there you are at the bottom of the deck, Justice. So, so I'm talking to a Libra that has an idea of what they want in mind. Either you have a person in mind and you haven't been able to be with them. Or you have an idea of the kind of partner you want and you haven't been able to start that either. Um, some of you are entering into a whole new cycle. The world, the chariot, the ace of cups is here. However, it's, it's first we need to take care of this, whatever this is. Um, I feel like a lot of you are going to get what you want. It's just probably you need to keep an open mind. It probably won't happen the way that you expect it to. Tell me about the queen of swords, eight of wands, reverse. What's this down here? Four of pentacles. Tell me about the queen of swords and the eight of wands, reverse. Queen of cups. Wow, king and queen on the board. Can I get another um, card, please? For the Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands, Reverse. Interesting. Strength. Okay, Strength shows up. And then Justice again at the bottom of the deck. Leo Energy here with Strength. Um, Queen of Cups is in the Four of Pentacles. I'm thinking of someone holding back how they feel. Um, I'm also picking up someone that, since the Queen of Swords is here, and that's what I'm clarifying, Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups are complete opposites. Um, they think completely differently. So maybe someone's um, emotionally invested, emotionally involved, but they're not tapping into that energy in order to take care of this problem. I feel like in order for someone to be bold and strong, like this Strength card here is suggesting, they would need to be a Queen of Swords. Um, tell me about this Queen of Swords. Nine of Swords, yeah. Someone's worried and stressed about, maybe there's fear. This could be somebody, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about the noise in the background. They're so loud. <laughs> and I don't really want to stop the reading because I feel like I'm on a roll right now trying to get these messages out. Yeah, so basically you don't need to be worried. Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups. I feel like someone's worried um, possibly because there's an ending that's taking place or some sort of transition. Um, I heard change. So something's changing for you, Libra, or for this other person, and it's a big change. Death is here. So it's a big change, a big transformation. But it's going to give you what you want in the end. Um, whoever's worried, they will get what they want in the end. Um, I feel also like there's some sort of important communication that could be taking uh I don't know. It's almost like a message that comes in or a conversation that you have with another person. Um, and you're worried about what, what's going to be said, what's going to be discussed. Yeah. Five of Wands, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So there is some sort of um, situation here where 
someone could be stuck in a dynamic that is there's conflict drama gossip uh, family members not getting along co-workers not getting along um, ex-partners involved you know there's there's a bit of a drama around all of this um, there could already be history of drama or conflict and that could still be a problem um, it's going to be different for all of you but I, what I'm getting here it's almost like despite the stress and anxiety despite the drama and the conflict someone's still going to get what they want it's just not going to be easy basically and I think this is what someone wants, the Ten of Pentacles, long-term stability, success. Um, so let's look at, I'm going to put these back and I'm going to look at now your person's energy. What do we need to know about this other person that you are or will be dealing with? Let's clear the board because I made kind of a mess here. Spirit, tell me about this other person. Tell me about this other person that Libra is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other... Okay. Justice. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know? Yep. What do we need to know about this other person? Libra, unfortunately, you're dealing with a situation that is not going to move quickly. This is not going to happen overnight. This is not going to happen quickly. There's going to be obstacles in the way here. And I feel as your person dealing with these obstacles. Yeah, five of wands again. Um, and there's a three of wands. So it's almost like this is what someone's waiting for or dealing with that's keeping them waiting. Can I get one more? I just want to get one more. Can I get one more for this person? What do we need to know? about this other person what do we need to know this other person six of pentacles and the four of pentacles so i feel like someone is um there's there's a balancing that's going to be happening here or a give and take that needs to happen if, if there's if, there, if you're not on the same page with this person it needs to happen i feel like you're both kind of holding back or there's something that just hasn't it's not out in the open like I'm picturing something that's like the elephant in the room. Like there's something that you need to talk about with this person or address with this person. But neither of you are making that move. And I don't understand why. I mean, maybe there's different reasons for why you are um, holding back the way that you are. But this, this needs to be uh, fixed. So this needs to be addressed. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Move about the six of pentacles and the four of pentacles yeah this is what you this is what someone needs to work on this is what someone should be focused on eight of pentacles this might be something that that you or this other person are already like you already know about this and you know that you need to make it happen yeah i think that once this is um once this is addressed or handled the nine of cups is here and the nine of cups is very important for your reading it keeps coming up this is emotional satisfaction this is someone being very proud of what they've accomplished their wish has been granted everything that they wanted they've received strength leo energy again so i think that this is something that someone needs to do and it requires some sort of courage or strength um, this is someone that i feel knows that they need to do this in order to regain control regain balance regain um, their wish or get their wish this could be you or this could be your person I think this is someone that already knows what they want um, and how to get it. They're just being prevented from going after it. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Someone knows what they want. And it's this Ten of Pentacles. Again, I feel like this is this. And it could be that you and this person are, on the, are in the same boat because I have mirrored souls here. It's like you're both on the same page about this. But it doesn't change the fact that your current circumstances are a mess. Yours or this person. I have a feeling... It's the person you're dealing with. Tell me about this five of pentacles, uh, not five pentacles, five of wands. Tell me about the five of wands, please. Why is there five of wands here? Yeah, the devil. So this is a problem. This is the stuck energy. This is the, the energy that someone's dealing with. This is, could be an unhealthy attachment, an unhealthy environment, some sort of toxic dynamic, a karmic situation. Yeah. Justice is here again. So I feel like there's a rebalancing or something being made right, something 
happening and changing things around um, something being just and fair to you this could be a legal situation for some of you too um, your person could be dealing with a legal situation or you're dealing with a legal situation something very official Ooh, page of cards that's so sweet I feel like this is all connected for some reason um, you're dealing with a person um, for the Libras that I'm talking to I feel like this is someone you already know if this is not someone you already know then this is what someone's bringing into this connection so you could be meeting someone and this is all going on but for a lot of you I feel like you already are aware of this um, maybe there's some sort of forgiveness that needs to take place between you and this person or some sort of clearing the air um, you know revealing how you feel like with this page of cups Um, so that things could be made right. And you had a reading recently where your person wanted to make things right. So this could be something similar to that, that reading. Um, Spirit, tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. Spontaneous, impulsive, and unplanned. Happy, happy. Okay, so this could be happening. Um, this person could be showing up out of nowhere or um, appearing out of nowhere, dealing with a situation um, in an unexpected way. You know, they could be coming forward in a way that you're not expecting because I'm picturing this page of cups and justice like this person is literally coming to you to express themselves to you. And they could be even asking for an apology with forgiving and learning. Maybe spirit saying keep an open mind about forgiving this person. Completely up to you. What else do we need to know about this person? What else? courthouse yeah there's something official that this person's taking care of um this is reminding me of justice this is an official document signing of something um a situation in a, like an official building this could have something to do with work signing a contract okay can we get some more insight please about where is all of this headed i'm going to be um picking a few cards out here can we get some insight please into where is all of this headed between Libra and this person wow judgment and the high priestess so this is like whatever is hidden is now said out loud revelations awakenings this could be something being said like I don't know I feel I'm, I'm almost getting someone like yelling from the rooftops <laughs> you know whatever was hidden is now being yelled basically it's kind of what I'm picturing here and um, I think that this is somebody that wants um, a second chance and I don't think you're gonna I don't know it's almost like you're not gonna see this coming because I have the high priestess and the Sun is reversed so I'm almost picturing like the moon here somewhat something's happening here with judgment this could be someone having a personal awakening um, or wanting to resurrect revive something and after judgment comes the world. So I feel like someone's almost like waiting to see what happens after this judgment card. So I'm going to clarify this a little bit more and get some insight into what exactly is happening. Some of you are receiving a phone call, like an actual call. And I feel like the, the ones that are expecting, it's like you're expecting this call with the two of wands. It's like you need to hear this from this person before you choose a path or make a decision. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here. Libra, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.